how much of this is going to record because I'm recording it on my phone. But I'm so tired. Then why are you recording video? Go to sleep, little girl. I don't know. I just need to do this, I think. So, like, today, um, I, had to, I went to the doctor's with my mom. And on the way there, she gets a really bad headache. And I'm like, okay, are you alright? She doesn't really give me a positive 100%. I'm fine, answer. So I said, okay. So we get to the doctor's office. And long story short, um, well, actually, not short. Uh, we were sitting there, and, and I told the receptionist to call 911 now. She's had, my mother is having, like, stroke-like symptoms. Thank God she wasn't, it, but, um, so then, the receptionist doesn't. Like, she doesn't call. And I'm like, why did you not call? But anyway, she doesn't call. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, you need to... I go back up there and she calls like it's like 10 minutes after I told her and she's like well I'm calling right now I'm like no you needed her to call when I told you you needed to call because it's an emergency and I told you she was having stroke like symptoms minutes count you need to do it then she's like why are you yelling at me I'm like because you're stupid you're stupid why would you not somebody tells you call 911 now patient is having stroke symptoms you as a in the medical field know certain things about stroke no time seconds count know that you have to act fast know these things she didn't do it so then i was like f this ish I, i'm like i'm gonna take her and put her in the car and take her to the emergency room myself if i have to carry her on my back i'm going to do it so, by the time I get down there, take her downstairs, get the car around, other people had, like, came to the rescue, and they were like, thank God for them. They were like, we are not, you're not taking her by car, it's not safe, we'll take her back in the urgent care, do what we can to make sure everything's stable, and then we will take her by ambulance. And I said, alright, that's fine, if that's what she wants to do, that's fine. She's like, that's, yeah, that's what I want to do. So we get to the hospital, and the doctors at the hospital were awesome the nurses were awesome the you know all of those few kind of people were awesome the problem was i ran into there was nobody knew where any of the ish was at like where we park nobody knew where's the er nobody knew uh where's the cafeteria nobody knew i'm like really i'm not asking for needle in haystack i'm asking for the freaking hay in the stack so I did find some people that were like, oh, you can park over here. Some people were like, well, hey, this is the way to the ER. Some people were like, well, this is the way to the cafeteria. I'm like, thank you so much. So, thank God, you know, whatever. Her mom, it's all the tests, preliminary tests came back. She didn't have a stroke, not even a tiny one. As far as they can tell, um, you know, like, it's just a complex migraine. They're going to kind of address that and some other thing, like check out some other things, make sure nothing else scary is going on. And that's that. And I'm like, okay, that's super cool. Um, so she said she's staying a night in the hospital just to make sure that she's like fine. I'm like that's perfect by me. Well, then I get home and I ask for help from my dad and my brother who, my dad was pretty cool about helping, my brother not so much, and I was like, okay, oh, been, and they were like, well, why are you grumpy, why are you dissing, I'm like, I've been at the ER for nine hours, I've been at the ER for nine hours, dealing with this situation, oh, well, you're still not allowed to be grumpy. I'm like, wait a minute, I'm not allowed to feel something, I'm not allowed to be, like, stressed out, I'm not allowed to be any kind of moody because I'm just not. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. No. That's not working anymore. That's not working for me anymore. That's not working for anybody anymore because then all of a sudden it comes out like a volcano. So I'm not doing that anymore. When I'm upset with something, I'm saying I'm upset. And I'm not going to stop. I'm going to stop apologizing for being upset. I'm going to apologize for stuff I do wrong when 
I'm upset. But I'm not going to apologize for being angry. I'm not going to apologize for being sad. I'm not going to apologize for being depressed. I'm not going to apologize for these things anymore. I'm done. You know, I got really scared today. I, I mean, I overreacted in being scared because it ended up being nothing to be scared about. But she was numb on the right side of her face and tongue and stuff. She wasn't moving her mouth properly. She wasn't moving her arms properly. She wasn't moving her legs properly. My mother wasn't. And it really scared me. I'm like, it's barely been over a year that I had to sit and watch uh, my aunt, my best friend, my second mom, my whatever, take her last breath. And then wasn't allowed to have any kind of emotions about it because I was just supposed to be happy. Uh, 